Hello scholars, welcome back, Mr. Hinkle here. We're talking about groundwater, but we're talking about karsts. We're talking about unique geology where groundwater dissolves the landscape to create karst topography. So karst refers to landscape that is created through the dissolution of limestone found anywhere that limestone is soluble. What we see here are towers of rocks, but these towers were created through the dissolution. So, unique suite of processes. At some point, this was all submerged uh, underneath the surface of the ocean. Limestone was deposited. Time goes on, distribution through time and space. And then that limestone was then subsequent to erosion, the dissolution, from water, which led to sinkholes and caverns that then continued to erode, leading to towers that we see here. So karst topography represents a beautiful saga of Earth history and all the processes combined that led to these unique landscapes. <clears throat> okay, sinkholes. We've got some sinkholes coming up. Hole in the ground that forms where water dissolves. I'm gonna build this karst topography in here for you. So here's the surface of the earth, layers of limestone, like so. We get some sinkholes coming in. There's a sinkhole, there's a sinkhole, there's a sinkhole. Awesome. Also with dissolution, we get Caverns, wow, cool. Okay, so caverns, water's making its way down. And then let's say here is a cavern. We've got another cavern here. And another cavern here. Another cavern here. Now, these caverns continue to dissolve and erode, dissolve and erode. And what ends up happening is Over time, all of the overlying material disappears. It's eroded away. And what's left behind? Remember, geology, oop, I wanted that one to say. Geology is often landscapes through time. And what's left behind after all of this, after millions of years, are towers on the surface created through the dissolution of rock forming karst topography. Now, before it's all gone, though, caves have unique features called speleothems, and the study of caverns is speleo uh, speleology. Often you hear the term spelunking for going into caverns, but actual individuals who like to spend time inside of caves, they don't call it that. They call it caving. They would like to call themselves cavers, but neither here nor there. So, speleothems are the features inside of caves, and I want to go through some common cave features. Okay, so this was our creation of karst topography, the dissolution of limestone from sinkholes to caverns to towers. But now, let's go inside of a cavern. So, we've got stalactites. These are going to be features that are deposited from mineral rich water hanging from the ceiling. And you get a little bit of de deposition, 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 deposition. Ultimately, it's like the features hanging on tight to the ceiling as water continues to precipitate from the top down. So it's kind of cool because caves like this they are not only erosional features, but what we're looking at are depositional features. So we see a whole suite of geological processes that are going on here. Next common is stalagmites. This is when the water drops down to the floor and they slowly build up over time. I like to think of it like 
Stalagmites have to use all their might to grow up against the force of gravity, and stalactites have to hold on tight to the ceiling so they don't fall off. And then when you get the two of these together, they might actually grow in and form one big feature known as a column. So caves that have cave features, you will see lots of stalactites, lots of stalagmites, and then areas where the stalactites and the stalagmites grow together to form columns. Awesome. Other cool things is when the deposition, the water, it just kind of flows over the surface or the bottom and it forms this unique uh, type of deposit known as flowstone. It looks like melted cake icing or frozen waterfalls. Same process. Mineral rich water inside of caves. And the minerals come from the dissolution of the rocks and then that same water that's dissolving the rocks is depositing inside of the empty cavities known as the caverns, creating flowstone, draperies also known as cave bacon because they're linear features. They kind of drape down hanging from the ceiling. We've got, let's keep going through here, halictites. They're little features that twist and they're really cool because they go against the forces of gravity. I mean, not really, but they're awesome, unique cave features, cave flowers, um, crystal petals that are growing out of a common center and caves that you can visit. So caves are cool. If you've never been to one, I highly recommend it. There are certain places you can go. Carlsbad Caverns um, in New Mexico, Crystal Cave in Sequoia National Park. Certain caves are big enough that the general population can go explore and visit. These are a unique part of geology. They're really cool. And if you've never been to a cave, plan your next family vacation, or next time you hear about a cave that's nearby, make time to stop and explore to look at these various cave features. Stalactites and stalagmites, pillars, columns, draperies, flowstone, and all of the other unique cave features that you might see. So, karst topography are landscapes dominated by the erosion of limestone, which lead to caverns that take that eroded material and also deposit, forming amazing structures that ultimately lead to a landscape that is full of towers that are the remnants of once living cave features. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Caves are cool. Check one out. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.